What is going on guys, it's your boy Shady Mike Gaming and welcome to another NBA 2K21 Signature Shot. We are back in the building with the finals MVP, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, I wouldn't say that this video was highly requested before they won the finals, but once the Bucks won the finals, uh, Giannis and Chris Middleton became really our most sought after signature shots. So I said, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at Giannis. Now look, let me be honest guys, I don't really like taking a look at guys like Giannis. Here's the thing about doing signature shots on bad shooters. The reason they're bad shooters is because they're inconsistent with their form and their motion. So uh, really, this signature shot is going to be all about us finding all of the good trends and everything that Giannis does right and the most consistent things that he does with his jumper. Regardless, I, we got a really good signature shot. Special shout out to everyone who was on stream with me, twitch.tv slash shadymygaming. I stream every Tuesday. 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, you guys have had this signature shot for a while. Um, so if you guys are slacking, be sure to pull up on Twitch for these streams. Now, um, a a very few things have changed since the stream, but there were a couple things that I was able to figure out that I just thought looked a little bit better um, than Giannis. For Giannis, I don't want this video to be super long because like, we have a lot to talk about with Giannis. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, I do want to say we just hit 13K subs. That's super cool. Let's see if we can get to 15K subs. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. We're going to have more players coming up. Uh, Chris Middleton here soon as well. Um, like the video. Oh, and be sure to join our 2K Mining Society Discord. Um, we just hit 4,800 members over there, so we're closing in on 5K. We're going to have a big giveaway for 5K, so stay tuned for that. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. When we take a look at Giannis's base, and let's just get into it because there's not a lot here, but we want to take a look at the orientation. Um, he is always going to have that right foot in front of his left. What I noticed was is the how much it kind of varied. So, you know, we were able to capture that, but I didn't really make it a a, a super important emphasis on the shot where I was going to change his base, but he's always going to have that right foot ever so slightly positioned in front of the left. Now, when Giannis does shoot, he gets a nice dip. He, he really will will dip down into that shot. Now, you see a lot of guys use the Anthony Davis release for Giannis. We all, or excuse me, base. We all know that Anthony Davis base is very stiff and straight up and down. And when people do that, they're not wrong. And I don't. I don't want to paint the picture like they don't know what they're doing by picking that base because Giannis shoots almost perfectly straight up and down with no sway um, or anything like that. But where it gets a little bit difficult and complicated with Giannis is when he does shoot is he actually leans his head and his upper body back. He doesn't fade, but he just literally just pushes his head back in a very strange way. And that's obviously not something we're going to be able to capture um, with 2K's jump shot system that is what it is so what we do to try and replicate or emulate that motion is we use base 73 i'm not the first person to use base 73 and i'm definitely not going to be the last to use base 73 what that does is it just kind of leans his whole body back on the shot now i know that I think it leans back too much and I think it messes his orientation up a little bit, but what it does is it helps to, and we're going to talk about that a little bit when we get to the release, what it does is it helps to create that space in between his head and the ball when he shoots. So we're, we're not really, we don't really have to dive too much into that as, as much as, you know, I would like to, but that's something that until we get Giannis in that suit in 2K mo capped, that base is never going to be completely perfect where yes, it's straight up and down, but only the upper half of his body being his shoulders and his head leans back so i'm very happy with the base we chose i, I don't have any regrets there um but i understand why other people went for just some more straight up and down um but i just chose to you know like many others go a different direction So when we talk about his release, um, there are several strange things about his his release, and we're just gonna 
go rapid fire and try and knock him out. The first thing's first. When Giannis is bringing the ball up, he starts with like both of his elbows pointing outwards. A little bit weird, but that is what he does. They both point outward. And what he does is, and you can tell that this form has changed from when he came into the league. He, he really makes a conscious effort to jam that right Elbow, like shooting elbow inwards, um, and you're gonna get that perfect 90 degree angle um, on the shot. You'll notice when he does shoot, he also has you know some interesting hand placement on the offhand. Sometimes on top of the ball. I've even seen it a little bit more behind the ball, but we captured that as best as we could. Um, and another thing that's a little bit strange, you'll see his shooting form when he goes to shoot. He flares out his off elbow, so that left elbow is really going to be flared out when he goes to shoot now as he comes through the shot it stays at that 90 degree angle but the number one thing that we're trying to capture with Giannis's shot is yes he's got the 90 degree angle but he needs to have that 90 degree angle with his feet still on the ground that's you know just to get that timing right that's what we need to capture now when he goes to shoot what you're going to notice is there's a whole lot of space in between the ball and his face and i'll be honest with you if you freeze frame you'll notice we have a perfect form here it looks exactly like Giannis's form but it still isn't exactly the way that he shoots and so what you'll notice is how do you say how can it not be accurate but we have a perfect form it's actually quite simple because of the length of Giannis's arms he just has more space between the ball and um, his face and 2k didn't really capture his proportions right now I'm using a mod so he does have a little bit longer arm so it's a little bit better but there still needs to be even more space in between his arms the ball and his face unfortunately that's just not something we can really capture um with the jump shot but again it's a very solid jump shot it looks a lot like what we see Giannis do i think really it's as close as you're gonna get to his actual shot but until we get him really in the you know in with 2k mocap is never going to be perfect so um that's my jump shot i'll make sure i got some um b-roll footage you know rolling of him shooting um this is a full signature edit we have a lot to talk about in terms of his full game his dunks his free throws his handles as well so um, we're going to go into the menu and check out everything else all right, and as we take a look at Giannis, we're going to take a look at, obviously, the base jump shot here. Like I said, we're going to go with base 73. I think it does a very good job of capturing that kind of, uh, you know, tilting back thing that he does with his jump shot. Um, for the upper release, we use release 12. Um, now, I really like this release, and we featured it a lot here. It's very good at two things. Number one, bringing that release point down, the set point down, and also giving us that 90-degree angle when guys do shoot like that. Um, we blend it to 32 ever so slightly with the Deanna Tarasi um, release. That is a WNBA release. I've had some people in the comments like they have issues with WNBA releases for some reason. I don't know why or what's going on with that. But um, if you need an alternate for that, I think you can use... Should have done this before I edited. Uh, I want to say... Hold on. Yeah, you can kind of use 49 or was it 39? Crap. No, no, no. You can, I guess, substitute it with 49. It kind of messes the release point up a little bit, but um, it's still kind of serviceable, I guess. But yeah, 49 is also an option, but I, I know some people had some issues with the WNBA releases. I don't know why, um, but yeah, that is what it is. This is the shot. We go with very slow. Giannis takes forever to shoot, um, so that is what it is. Now, for the free throw, we're going to spend a little bit more time here than usual. Obviously, it's a very big part of Giannis's game. We got a literally one for one perfect replication of his free throw. Now, when the only thing that this form doesn't do, and it really pisses me off, but it is what it is. I wish you had a form that like dribbled as much as he does. because He dribbles like 40 times before he shoots the the uh, the, the free throw. But I, I really like how with this form, he really just 
exhales with the ball and the way that he brings it up he, he kind of like pushes that elbow in and slants the ball over his right eye and then just the release is absolutely perfect so um that is the most accurate of a non mo uh free throw i've ever seen of course uh i wish he dribbled more but there's not a lot that we can do about that um for the pull up special shout out somebody on stream actually pointed this out to me really nice we just go with the camp bays more um he, he kind of just pulls up he stays in places a little bit of a sway to his legs but there's nothing crazy a little bit of athleticism but uh we don't have a lot of pull up jumpers from Giannis, but we do have a few and the few that we do have um we were able to match over to the cat bays more pull up so i really like that for Giannis. it actually fits great spin jumper is normal i'm assuming that's default i didn't change it wasn't going to waste my time uh looking for him to do a spin jumper um it really we were just trying to you know make sure it didn't look crazy or overly athletic or vice versa not athletic enough i felt perfectly fine with uh, normal i didn't see him do any spin jumpers in game so i wasn't really gonna gonna stress it um for the step back um he does step backs from time to time um they usually come with a large step they usually come with him not fake Fading, but kind of like fading in place is actually very similar to the pull up um, but the hop jump was very accurate to the footage that we found normal 17 is a one for one match so very happy we were able to get that locked locked in um, when we go to the layup packages really important don't under don't overthink it uh, we go with the long athletes package love the long athletes package the reason being is because Giannis will often catch um, a ball of transition on the fast break will catch it at half court and he'll dribble once maybe twice um, the the good thing about the long athletes package is you can basically start your layups at the three-point line just like Giannis does we were looking for the layup package that had those long strides that Giannis takes um long athletes works perfect I do believe it's default now for the dunks we I, I mean the video of all of Giannis's dunks for the year was like 19 minutes long and we did watch the whole thing on stream to capture all of his dunks you do go with the under basket rim pulls you also throw the under um, basket athletic flushes there um, he does a lot of different dunks under the rim so um, you know you can definitely mix it up there and um, we go with big man tomahawks off of one this was a really really important one um and I, I know the question people are going to be asking is Giannis has a dunk package why did you do all of this well I just didn't feel like Giannis's dunk package has him taking off from further enough I know that's weird but we we're really trying to replicate his game the biggest you know determining factor uh, distinguishing factor i would say of Giannis is how far away from the hoop he starts his gathers with obviously his wingspan and those long strides so we were trying to capture um the package that you know replicated that the best we also added in the back scratching rim hangs extremely crazy dunk package for someone of Giannis's size but you know it was just something we wanted to add so that we could capture um you know some of the crazier more athletic two-handed dunks that he does we've seen a lot from him uh, we did add the big man tomahawks off two he does a lot of dunks off of two feet as well he, he he'll jump off of one or two feet it doesn't matter um he can do either one um we've seen him do a couple reverse dunks over the years so we just added in the baseline reverse dunks off of one uh post video editing shady here i also found some more footage of Giannis doing some crazy dunks on the break some awesome 360s and some awesome windmills i'm extra as crap so i love that crap so uh I, it wasn't really from last year year so it's not super this year or last year so it's not super recent but he's did it he did it so i'm adding uh these dunk packages uh the front windmills uh and basic 360s as well now for the post game this is where it gets a little bit interesting so for the post fade we are gonna go form wise with fade two um when he turns to his left he really will jump high do a little bit of like a flail with his right leg and he almost lands in the same space and it's very accurate form wise it's actually perfect to what we've seen from Giannis. now the problem with fade two is unfortunately due to the release that we chose the set point is way too low so if you want the perfect you know base or perfect form of the fade you go with fade two if you want something that maybe raises that set point a little bit but isn't as accurate you can go with fade 12 that's kind of like the dirk package now he does one-legged fadeaways 
all the time like all the time like anytime he's on the right side that's why we go with shimmy fade 14 anytime he's on the right side of the key you're gonna see him do that one-legged fade away so fade 12 is not like crazy that's not something that's super inaccurate um i think that's what i'm gonna use just because i want that higher release point but the most accurate and if you don't want the dirt package is going to be fade two um we did have him doing a couple of post hop step backs i did find footage for it but now i'm like i don't remember if i have it as a recording this so i don't i don't even know if i should have said that but whatever it is accurate post hop shot seven he, he kind of does like a step back out of the post so I'll, if I can find the footage for it, I'll put it in, but uh, you can take my word for it. That's what he does. But um, a post video editing Shady back again uh, for the dribble style. I said to change this because I had it wrong when I initially recorded it, but we're going to go with the Russell Westbrook dribble style. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, it's not giving me the option to select Westbrook. What you got to do is you got to go into the vitals, change his position to like point guard or something like that, and then go back to it. And then it'll it'll let you you know select anything that you want so um personally i went with russell westbrook i felt like it had the most accurate stance now i honestly wanted to go with big initially but i just felt like it slowed Giannis down a little bit too much so we ended up going with the russell westbrook uh dribble style now in terms of the size up i am in between a couple here um yes he does have his own size up the Giannis size up that he does all the time so i'm not going to sit here and say that it's not accurate he does this literally two three times a game every now and again you'll see him do a size up that's a little bit more reminiscent of the westbrook size up and sometimes he'll do like a really fast uh size up that's closer to the derrick rose size up it's you know Giannis has a very good handle on the basketball so it's it's not like he's like Shaq he's not like he's some giant center with no handle Giannis will handle the ball in the open court every now and again and what I like about the Rose size up is he starts it with like this quick stutter jab and we were able to capture some footage of him doing that multiple times so that's why i chose it if you think it's a little bit over the top it might be um especially for him to be doing it every time but it is accurate and it is something that we've seen him do so guys that is it for Giannis, the finals mvp thank you so much for stopping in um we're gonna get right to chris middleton i, I told the stream told everyone on the stream that we were gonna knock out chris middleton because i don't think he's gonna be that hard um his jump shot seems fairly simple if i can talk sorry but we're gonna knock chris middleton out stay tuned for that and then we're gonna start a whole new poll of players so uh, let me know in the comments who you guys want to see in that poll and we can get right to that i want to say thank you so much for all the support on the channel stay tuned for more content from me guys it is your boy shady mike gaming i am signing out peace threes